What is up guys and welcome to another video. It's a bit of a different kind of video this time. I placed an order in at GameStop.com. Yes, the infamous GameStop. The website that just gives you all kinds of wonderful goodies without the cases. <laughs> they had a pretty amazing deal going on that I just could not resist. All pre-owned games, $20 or less. If you bought five or more, you got all those games for 50% off. It was kind of a, a tier system where you buy, I think, two or three, you get 20 or 30% off, and so on and so forth, all the way up to five games at 50% off. And you can get as many games as you want. As long as they were pre-owned and $20 or less, they would be 50% off. Now, these two packages right here about 11 or 12 games games that i've been on my list to get for a while i just didn't get for one reason or another or i had them at one time and i either sold or traded them for one reason or another so some of these really happy to get back but as you can see 12 games here they should all be in cases and by the size of the packages you can tell that they are not in cases at least some of them so Thought it would be a kind of little video, kind of a fun little video here to kind of open up and see what I got, see what I got it for, and also see whether or not they come with a case. See just how good they are in giving you the case. Now there's a lot of 3DS games in here. There's a couple Switch and there's a couple Wii U games, I believe. So <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Um, I did get some Pokemon games. I wanted cases for all of them, obviously, but if I had to pick and choose, I would definitely go with uh, the Pokemon games that had the cases. But uh, I did not realize what this was until I started open it, opening it, um, but they sent them in two different packages. Uh, I did not fully see what was in here. I just seen that there was a couple games in here, so it's not been uh, spoiled for myself. But let's go ahead and start with this package right here. Let's see, we got... Uh... Oh, right off the bat, we got Pokemon Rumble World without the case, and I think that was uh, $7.50 after the discount. Go ahead and take a look here. I mean, it looks clean. It doesn't look damaged or anything. It's just they probably threw out a bunch of the cases as they got them in, which I guess I understand that. They, they have very limited space, a lot of game stops, and cases take up space. I mean, it's not like they couldn't just uh, line them up on the wall that they do now, but uh, here's the receipt. I will go through that here in a minute. But, uh, oh, we got one. Thing. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> Luckily, Harvest Moon, uh, a new beginning. I love the ever-living crap out of this game. Um... I always intended on getting it back, but I traded it in because they had a really good deal going for it. So I did trade it in without the case. So I do still have my original case for this game. So I'm happy to have this one back. And uh, this one was 10 bucks. So definitely one of the better Harvest Moons out there for sure. In terms of customization, it's just so much better than some of them. Ooh, so Pixar. That's another one of those games I wanted to pick up for a while. It's basically Minecraft meets Ark. Uh, more so wanted to pick it up for my son. Let's we'll see how he liked it. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to have that with the case. And this was $10 after the discount. So uh, that's it in there. Let me go ahead and double check the prices on these. So, yeah. Okay, so the Rumble Rolled was $10, not $7.50. So each of those were $10 a piece. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. <clears throat> now, uh, so two out of three did not have a case, but luckily I do have the case. So, eh, rough odds there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started in the uh, other package here. Which, again, I... I not open at all, so I don't know what to expect in here. Go ahead with the uh, first game what we got here. Okay. Oop. Another one without a case, but po or Pokemon. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. Uh, $10 after the deal. Um, this one as well is one of those that I have 
the uh, the case for already. So not a huge loss there missing the case. Now onto this one right here. This makes me a little nervous. Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. Now this is another one of those games that I got very early in the 3DS life. It's basically Kingdom Hearts meets Pokemon, which you can essentially uh, collect the Heartless. I'm not really big in that uh, action RPG type of gameplay, so a lot of the Kingdom Hearts I kind of get turned off with, but this one right here with the, the whole collect the monsters and battle with them and level them up and adjust their abilities, that was something that was pretty neat that stuck out to me. And sure enough, early in my 3DS kind of collecting, I got rid of this one. Unfortunately, this is one I do not have the case for, so I'm going to have to hunt that down. But happy to finally get this one back in the uh, the collection. Uh, they did re-release this, I believe, with the uh, PlayStation 4 package. I don't know, I haven't looked into it too much, but I know that those tend to go down in value a lot. And uh, Nintendo products typically hold their value pretty well, so... Not a big deal not getting it on the PlayStation 4. I did want the original way that I played it back. Next one. Oh, good. This is one I'm kind of happy to have the case for. A uh, Pokin Tournament on the Wii U with uh, just a regular disc. I wonder if it has the Wii U card back here. Ah, too good to be true. I didn't think it would. That would have been pretty awesome if it did, but... This was only $5 after the uh, the deal. So pretty good to have that. I know it came out on uh, the Switch, but I didn't really want to pay $55 to get that one or however much pre-owned. So $5 for the Wii U version, that's pretty nice. And I'm glad it came with the case because I hate uh, disc-only copies of games. Moving on to the next one here, we got Pokemon Sun, which... I'm going to be honest with you guys. I picked this one up. I don't really, I wish it would have had a case, but I don't really mind that it doesn't. I, my sole purpose was to buy this and hold on to it because Pokemon games always go up. I always kick my ass because I think, oh, I'll get a couple of those and hold on to them and then trade them or sell them in the future to support other areas of my collection. And then I never get around to do it. And sure enough, they start going up in value. So this right here, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit of shit bag. I got it just so I can hold on to it and sell or trade it when it goes up in value. So $7.50 for a Pokemon game is a no-brainer. On to the next one here. Ooh, Pokemon Moon. Same thing. Uh, it says $20, but I actually got it for $15, so $7.50 after the deal. Same thing. I've already got this complete box. Would have loved to have the case for it, but like I said, whole shit bag reseller thing. Just gonna hold on to this until it goes up in value, then sell and resell it or trade it. So, not looking too good with the uh, <laughs> 3DS game and cases. I'm starting to wonder if we have any of them. But next one Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS. This is another one of those that I have the case for, so not a huge loss for it. This is actually one of the first 3DS games I got for the 3DS. And after I beat it, traded it in because Mario games had some really good trade-in value for whatever deal they were doing. And just never got around to picking it back up. And now I got it back for 10 bucks. Not too bad. Moving on. Got one in a case here. I don't know if it's the actual case, but... Oh, sweet! Pokemon Rumble Blast in the case. Definitely happy to have that one in the case. And with the manual, very nice, very nice. And the Club Nintendo points, which are long gone, unfortunately, but Pokemon Rumble Blast. $7.50, very nice. Very nice, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that one, pretty happy. Now let's see what else we got here. There's one other one that I'm really hoping is in the case, and I hope it's not the, the uh, greatest hits ones. Oh, yes! Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon with the manual and everything. 3DS. This is one that I was really, really hoping that it had the case. And I was really, really hoping that it wasn't the uh, player's choice, which I knew was a long shot. But this is this makes me happy right here. Uh, this was like $9 after the deal. 
and this is one I've been really wanting to pick up for a while. This is one of those ones that I picked out as soon as it came out, played it. Um, honestly, I probably didn't give it as much of a chance as it deserved because I didn't enjoy it that much, and then I tr uh, sold it to somebody at work. And this is another one of those that I've really wanted to give another chance, go down that road again, and see how it goes. So really happy to get this in the original case back for only nine dollars. That's a, it's a hell of a deal. All right, next game, also in a case. It's a Nintendo Switch game. So, ugh. hello neighbor, hide and seek. With not too bad a condition. I don't know if it comes with the key or manual or not probably not but this is one of those games that I got simply for the kids I got the regular hello neighbor and watching people play it on YouTube it looked really fun and interesting but when I actually got my hands on it I freaking hated it the controls and the difficulty it was just really turned me off of it so I took it back the next day and GameStop was nice enough to give me a full refund for it and I bought it brand new so that was really good on them my GameStop personally treats me really well i'm always in there buying collectibles and crap and cards and whatnot but this one right here i don't know if i'll like it or not but i got it simply for the kids because when i got rid of it they were always asking where's hello neighbor why did you get rid of it i want to play hello neighbor so this one i will give a shot try it out but uh, i think it'll be more uh, akin to a children's game than the other one because the other one they just they couldn't do much at all it was just the controls uh, this one was $9, I think, after the deal. So what do we have here? We have... We're definitely missing something here. Did they really send me more than two packages? And I'm going to have to make a third part to this film, or this video. Let's see, we got one, two... I know I got a third Switch game, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Let, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe I didn't. No, you know what? I think I took that other Switch game off. I think it was Rayman Legends and I took it off. So I do think this is all the games. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the receipt here. Double check the price for everything. But uh, $7.50, $7.50, $5. $9.50 for Hello Neighbor. And then, let's see. $7.50 for Kingdom Hearts. $7.50 Pokemon Rumble. $10, $10, and $9.50 for Dark Moon. So, I don't know. Um, I think I got pretty decent luck. Now, if I didn't have any of these cases, that would have been a big bummer. But since I do have the cases for three of these games and two of them I'm reselling, I really only missed out on the cases for two of them. All things considered, it could have been much worse. So not a bad deal when you're getting these games for 50% off and you know that 3DS is on its way out Wii U is on its way out over time it's a sound investment some of these games are going to start going up especially the Mario games it always happens that way and if you're ever going to get into a system and really start getting back the games that you got rid of or collecting the end of a system's life is when you do that you know this so 3DS pick them up Wii U pick them up and i'm happy to have the other ones so thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me i hope you have enjoyed and let me know what you think about this lot did i get a decent deal did you guys get anything from this deal did you guys miss out on it and not know anything about it do you guys completely avoid gamestop because you have a complete and other loathing disdain for the company let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys very soon